Hey, I am three plus key, your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. And I'm back with another in touch devotional. Uh, today we're going through first Peter chapter four, verses 12 and 13. The subject matter is the purpose of our trials. First Peter chapter four, verses 12 and 13 read, dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on to you to test you as though something strange were happening to you, but rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. The devotional goes on to say, some believers like to portray their life as ideal and carefree, but in reality, being a Christian is not easy. In fact, sometimes we'll experience trials that truly test our faith and ability to trust in God. In today's passage, Peter refers to times of testing as a fiery ordeal. He says we shouldn't be surprised when adversity comes. It's important to remember that God has a purpose for our difficulties and will see us through them as described in Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. And that reads, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen. Here are some of the goals he may have for painful experiences. There are three. Number one, at times the Lord uses hardship to cleanse us. Trials drive us to him. And as we focus on God, we're increasing, increasingly able to see things from his perspective. Number two, a difficulty in our life may be the Lord's way of testing us. He could be trying our faith, endurance, or devotion to him. And finally, number three, God uses suffering to demonstrate his power to sustain us. When he brings us through challenging times, he glorifies himself. In turn, this encourages others because they have witnessed God's sustaining power in our lives. Ultimately, hardships strengthen our testimony. In the midst of our struggles, we might feel overwhelmed and discouraged. But once the storm has passed, we can often look back and see the Lord's provincial, providential hand carrying us through. Wonderful. I remember uh, at one point I was going to East Point Church in Atlanta, Georgia, and Pastor Tony Carter was describing shepherds, um, the sheep. And how the, uh, the sheep dogs shepherd those dogs from behind. So they keep them in line. The two dogs, um, they, they, they guide them along the right path from behind. And all the time, the sheep can look back and see and find comfort in the sheep dogs that are guiding them. So we look back and we see goodness and mercy all of our days, just like the sheep dogs. Amen. I am three plus key, your favorite social worker here to encourage you to pursue the smile. Subscribe now for more content and I'll talk to you later.